First Peter 1, verse 22. Since you have in obedience to the truth purified your souls for a sincere love of the brethren, fervently love one another from the heart. Simple point. The reason that you and I have trouble loving somebody else is not because of what's true of somebody else. It's always and only because of what's true of us. It is the impurity in my own heart. It is the wrongness of my own heart that makes me unable to love another person. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't agree with them either. And you and I could get together, we could both agree that they're wrong. People do things. People make mistakes. And that can be a challenge. But if I can't love them with the kind of love that God has for them, I can never beg off and say it's because of what they did It's because of what they're like. I mean, do you know them? Have you seen what they... Biblically, the truth, the truth is that it's my stuff and not theirs. I don't know if you've ever asked this question. I I did when I was a little kid and I first heard that God loves everybody. And I'm like, everybody? You mean like, like really bad people? Yes, even really bad people. I mean, like a, like a murderer, like a hatchet murderer? <laughs> yes. And of course, when you get older and more sophisticated, you mean, you mean God could love like Hitler, Pol Pot? I mean, really? Yeah. Because the secret of God's love is that it doesn't depend on anybody else. He has no stuff. He has no impurities in his heart. And so he is absolutely able to love every single person. We still think of loving based on, are they okay, I can kind of handle you. All right, love you. Love you, man, love you. Mm -mm. God doesn't look at the person. And when I am purified in my heart, I can love anyone. Have they hurt you? Have they done things? Perhaps. But that is not supposed to be the issue. If I can't love, it's because of what's in my heart. And we're going to.